How's it going everybody? Darren here with Vengeance Apparatus. And for today's video showcase, we have a brush truck that we built for our friends down in Texas for the Palestine Fire Department. Uh, looking at it here, it is a 2022 Ford F550 Sandstorm with a buck stop super single conversion. You can see the uh, front bumper, which we had powder coated with the PPC coating from our friends over at uh, PPC. Down along the bottom with the warning lights, we have a series of Whelan M6 Wheeling 500 V's, and also we have LED fog lights that once it's in drive and in slider switch three, they will flash white as well. Mounted to the crossbars of the bumper, we have two 30 inch high vis mini brows. They're slightly angled differently to get maximum coverage. As part of the skid unit, we have a Elkhart brass bumper turret that has a joystick control inside the cab. And on the outside wings of the bumper, we have two three quarter inch ground sweeps that are also controlled by a switch in the cab. Now we're on the side of the vehicle. As you can see, starting with the front here, we have uh, Wheel and M4 Duo, red blue configuration. Officer side actually has a solo green LED module that was uh, per request of the customer. Uh, we have the fender flare arches from Buckstop as part of the super single conversion, as well as the uh, 41 inch Continental tires. With a little bit of a twist with the wheels, a uh, customer opted to go with red on this one, try to help break up the uh, red and black. It's a very nice look. We're happy with the, with the way this one turned out. Looking down at the running boards, we have uh, Wheel and Duo T-Ions. They are in a red-blue configuration. Also in the rub rail, we have the same Wheel and Duo T-Ions, red-blue. Up top of the body, we have the Hi-Viz Guardian Hybrids. So they are actually a combination scene and a warning light it is a new offer from from high viz uh, the light bar itself is going to be a wheel and liberty 2 red blue duo with also the white flood override for additional scene lighting all this is tied in together with our in-house graphics department uh, they did a phenomenal job on this graphics package keeping it simple uh, very nice classy to meet the customer's needs i'm going to get a little bit close up on the body here all of our construction is done in-house. Uh, the exterior of all the compartments were sprayed with the PPC coating. And they feature swing out doors, as well as transverse front compartment with a built-in tool board. Uh, that way the customer can mount any kind of tools that they're going to need. They can pull them out from either side. Uh, something that's a first for us is this kind of configuration. Locks that in place. So another standard compartment in here. Uh, Built-in LED strip lighting in all, all the compartments. They will automatically activate once the vehicle is placed in the park. That way you never have to worry about switches, anything like that. It's just an automatic. Behind the rear wheels, you just have a small drop-down compartment for miscellaneous equipment the customer would need. Again, something simple, straightforward. Now will go over to the rear of the apparatus and go over some of the pump controls and all of that. This might be where it gets a little tricky. All right, so now at the rear of the apparatus, we're going to start up top with your uh, warning and scene lights. Those are going to be the same as the sides. They're going to be the Hi-Viz Guardian Hybrids. These are in a red uh, warning with white scene. Down into the rub rail, we have a pair of Wheel and Strip Light Pluses in Red Blue Duo. And we have our standard DOT lighting in the rear. Uh, we have our Technic T66 brake tail turn and reverse lights. Moving on to the uh, pump. So we have a 400 gallon UPF water tank. We have a Hale HPX 300 KBD24. It is a Kubota 24 horsepower diesel, uh, cable about 350 GPM dual hose reels, and also all of our controls for uh, electric valve for tank to pump. We do have a dual panel in the cab for your bumper turret and also your ground sweeps with the same controls that you see on the rear. Uh, just your standard uh, two and a half inch intake, additional one inch and an additional two and a half inch discharges as well. Underneath the bed, we have a little bit longer storage. This will run all the way up to the front of the bed. Uh, that is for hard sleeves, any type of uh, 
a longer tool storage that might not fit in a transverse compartment or, or anything the customer customer would need. Coming over to the opposite side of the apparatus. That is kind of pretty much just going to mirror the driver's side, same configuration. Uh, the only noticeable difference is if you look on the rear TI on, that is a red-green duo configuration. And then the front fender will have that solo uh, green M4. Again, this was the customer spec for their department. You get a really nice shot of the uh, graphics package on this side as well. Our fender delete badge that we normally do, normally have an American flag in here. They opted to go with the uh, Texas flag with the Vengeon Eagle. A uh, nice little touch for that as well. Uh, so now we'll take a look inside the cab and go over some of the uh, functions of the skid unit and also the warning and scene lights. All right, so inside the cab, starting up top here, we did a rear view mirror replacement with a Roscoe backup camera. Obviously, with having the skid unit and everything in the rear, you're not going to be able to see anything out of the rear window anyways. Moving down, we have our custom console that was built in-house by our Just Box It division. Uh, all of our consoles are built in-house. Starting up top here, we have a blank space for the department-supplied radio. Uh, that will be installed once it is down there. We have the wheel and controller for the core. The standard configuration, we have all of our scene lighting up top, as well as fogs, ground lights, and our low-power override switch. We have your slider switch for your warning lights. Uh, so slider sw switch 1 will do the rear of the apparatus. Slider switch 2 would be 360 lighting, no white. And then slider switch three would activate your white lights once the vehicle is placed in a drive. Uh, your standard siren tones, uh, manual, PA, and the radio. We have two tone for your sirens and also your air horn button. And we also have the built in traffic advisor into the rear of the light bar itself. Farther down the console here, we have all the controls for the pump. You can see it's a very nice panel that is offered directly right from Hale. Uh, with the flick of a switch, we can power everything up. We have an innovative control soft glow mini water level gauge. Obviously, the tank is empty currently. Uh, we have our joystick control for the uh, bumper turret. Again, like I said, that is an Elkhart brass brush hawk. All the controls right in here. It has a, uh, a, a trigger for the valve control. And also, we have an Akron brass electric valve for the tank to pump. Throttle controls for your your pump as well as your start button and shutdown. And this little button here is for your ground sweeps. Uh, we have one at each corner of the bumper and they produce a very nice pattern that you will see here in a few seconds. Okay, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap this build up. Uh, first, we wanna say thank you to our friends down at the Palestine Fire Department and also the city of Palestine for allowing us to build this unit for them. We also wanna say thank you to our dealer in Texas, Texas Fire Apparatus, for their help on this project as well. Uh, stay tuned for all of our future builds we have coming up. We have plenty coming. Uh, be sure to follow all of our social medias, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, pretty much anywhere. Uh, thank you. Have a good one.